Hello, Mark, the Irish Football Fan TV. I'm delighted to be joined by Republic of Ireland International, Ruisha Littlejohn. You've just got your, your jersey. You've been called up to the World Cup. What are your emotions the last few days? Yeah, it's, um, I think we've, it's not fully sunk in yet. Um, I don't think it will until you're on the plane. And then it probably really won't kick in until an opening game. But um, proud, proud that I'm finally going. Um, it's been a long journey, but yeah, delighted. Yeah, because you, you think... 85,000, you know, stepping out on that pitch. Have you ever played in front of anything like that before? No, definitely not. Um, I think the most I've played in front is probably about 30,000, so you're more than double that. But look, it's going to be special, it's going to be exciting. I love playing in front of a big crowd. It's a, it kicks you on, it, the adrenaline's great, so I'm looking forward to it. I suppose that's what it's all about, though, isn't it? I mean, you live for these moments, and to be selected... You know, you, you embrace it. I mean, that's where we're wanting the game to go, to go. We want it to become the norm. So we get to now take part in that. Probably didn't think that would ever happen. Didn't think I'd ever play in front of a crowd that big. So it's definitely special. Yeah, and then we, I know we don't want to look too far past the World Cup, but then there's a game in the Aviva then as well. After the World Cup, probably it's more of a homecoming. So that's great as well. Yeah, definitely. It's exciting. Obviously, then being against Northern Ireland, so it's going to be a bit of a rivalry. It's very exciting. Um, and hopefully we can get as many people there as possible. Look, the game's still growing in Ireland, but we're seeing here today, and we see the, w the way the game's going. It's it's only going in one direction. It's it's growing. It's getting bigger, and we want to you know get people along and show them that we we can play and they can enjoy it. You know. Yeah, I think you're, I think I know there's been a big thing on visibility and, and being able to see, but I think I think you've done the business on the pitch. You know what I mean? And and, and ultimately that's what it's all about. And if that can happen as well in Australia then it drives other kids to want to be like you guys. Like I spoke to Megan Connolly and she spoke about having to watch the USA women's uh, team in the World Cup because obviously we, we weren't at that stage at that time. They obviously had further more developments and stuff like that, yeah. uh, facilities and stuff like that. But if you look at it, like this is a real chance and I'm not putting any added pressure. Like obviously the aim is to go there and do as well as a group as possible. But it's a real opportunity to, to show what the Irish team can do. Absolutely. Um, and this is what we've been waiting for for so long and now we, we get to be on that stage don't get me wrong it's going to be very difficult um, and it's going to be a big learning curve for us too but um, this is what we've been wanting for years we've been fighting so hard to get to a major tournament and now, now we get to do it so we're going to go we're going to enjoy it we're going to soak it all up and at the same time we want to go and we want to we want to show that we deserve to be there um, we want to we're not there to make up the numbers you know what I mean we're there to do a job do the business, it's not going to be easy, but we want to go and sort of show that we deserve to be competing on that stage. Talk to me about your actual journey from when you first started to, to getting to this World Cup squad now, and did you ever envision that this moment was, was going to happen? Obviously you dream of these types of things, but did you feel like it was ever going to be a nearer reality? I think you always have in your head that you're going to play at these maybe, what do you call that? Like when it's in the back of your head where you're like subconscious is that yeah. no yeah so you always have a bit of that but I think when you go okay we're going to open up the tournament uh, against Australia in Australia 83,000 in the crowd that's special um, and it's amazing did we think that was possible probably not really but it is now so we're going to need to sort of be ready for it and yeah it's amazing it's amazing how far the game's come talk about we we play in Cork sometimes we play. Um, God, we played another game. Um, where were we? Bray. Nobody in the crowd. And now we're trying to sell out Tala. Potentially playing at the Aviv playing at the Aviva. It's amazing. The game's only going one way, so it's exciting to see how far um, it can go. Yeah, and you've another stand that's going to be built in Tala, which means more numbers as well. Hopefully that'll be the case. But uh, yeah, you look at like just. I'm, I remember seeing you over in Scotland, um, the celebration. I know you didn't play that game, but just seeing how much it meant to every single player, even the players that weren't playing, you could see that there's a real togetherness yeah. in this squad. And, you know, you, you've been around with Ireland squads in the past. There always just seems to be a kind... I don't know who enforces this, but there's a great togetherness and great group always, even with the men's team too. That's... Um, that's I think the squad's always had that. And I think if you want to play for Ireland, you have to buy into it and you have to have that sort of personality. It's not about you, it's about the team. Um, we wouldn't be going to a World Cup if we didn't have um, good people in the squad. 
hard-working, humble, grounded people. Uh, that's what makes this group so special. There's no big egos in the team. We just want to play for each other, want to play for a country. And um, you see how we defend. It's body online stuff. Uh, sometimes it's not pretty, but um, that's us. We just want to work hard. And it's, it's amazing that we get to do it with this squad. And it's something that the squad hopefully will always have uh, going forward. Um, I know the game's changing. There's, um, there's going to be more fans, more media, uh, the pressures of football. Uh, but I think to play for Ireland, we're going, it's, it's tradition. You have to be humble and hardworking. So. Yeah, I, I totally agree. And it's great, like even today, the amount of media is here. I, I, I know you play over in England, but have you seen anything like this before? <laughs> no, not really. Gar just said uh, before it's like something they would do at the Super Bowl. So I was like, all right, okay, cool. But uh, no, it's quite nice. It's nice having our own wee station, and like it's a nice to have all the media. Yeah. Eh? Like a parent-teacher meeting a little bit. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, no, it's it's amazing. Shows how far the game's come, and um, we want to just keep kicking on, and hopefully we'll qualify for another tournament, and we'll be doing all this again. Yeah, I've just kind of I've asked every player this. Just you know, as growing up as a kid, did you have a World Cup moment where you kind of went, I'd love to be there one day. It could be an Irish goal, it could be whatever. For, for me, it was Zidane in the World Cup final in 98, for example. See, mine was a headbutt. You're not no, going no, on that one, is it? <laughs> not, the head, not the headbutt, no, hopefully you don't do that. No, I'll not do that, I'll try not to do that one. I mean, it'd be hard not to, but you know, I'll try and behave myself. <laughs> um, God, there's a few moments. When was that? I just seen that uh, flash up the other day, um, the James Rodriguez goal. They set a Columbia, chest for Columbia. Yeah, was that like nearly ten years ago? Bar, yeah. So. That that was special. I mean watching that being like, whoa. Um but I've got a memory about like a goldfish man, I don't remember much. So Robbie Keane's goal against Germany. In two thousand two. Oh I remember Rob, Robbie Keane's celebrations, that's all I remember. <laughs> so Yeah, it just came up. Yeah. Okay. So we've been told to wrap it up. Um so yeah, we'll go with uh, James Rodriguez as yeah. your as your yeah. uh, as your. I need remote. to sit down and watch stuff, and it come back to me. That's okay. it. I'm a goldfish. You can you can send us it on uh, afterwards. Listen, I just want to say best of luck over in Australia. Try stay fit, try stay fresh, and enjoy yourself. Uh, more importantly, okay. I'll see you over there. Thanks so much for your Cheers, time. Cheers, guys. Thanks for support.